welcome folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Hope is a renewable option. If you run out of it at the end of the day, you, can, you get to start over in the morning. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 47, NASDAQ down 26, S&P's up three and a half, gold contract down four dollars and sixty cents, trading at 1,127 an ounce. Silver up seven cents at fourteen dollars and sixty-one cents an ounce. Platinum down two at nine fifteen an ounce. Copper flat at two twenty-five a pound. Light sweet crude up seventy-seven cents, trading out at forty-five dollars and nineteen cents a barrel. Bonds. 10-year, up 10 ticks, 128.24, 30, up 9 ticks, 157.27, King Dollar, down 132 ticks at 96.05, the Euro up 6 at 112, and the Yen flat at 119.77. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? It's a wild one, folks, I can tell you. So, the SPY. What we've done here is this. And this is going to be wild watching the rest of this week sh shake out, folks, because this is what we have happening. So, the SPY out here today traded to a price point of 186.93. You've done 151 million shares. You closed at 188.08, and 188.08 is inside the low of yesterday. The low of yesterday, as well as today, has been testing the October 24th, 25th, and 26th price areas. Now, yesterday on the S&Ps, we did 178 million. Today, we did 151. It would have been better if it closed at 188.37, because what that was, that was the low that was generated on the 26th. What you have here, folks, is that this is a move that wants to bounce. Um, it did 100% move, well, not quite 100% move, uh, but you got to remember something. We just traded from 202 down to 186. You're trading at these levels, the volume is contracting by over 50%. That sets up a bounce. Now, now my, my take is that it's setting up a B to C of a much larger ABC down that more than likely are going to blow this bottom out. And we'll talk about that in a second because last night you had the Nikkei blow the bottom out. You had the Hang Seng blow the bottom out. The Nikkei blew it out in an incredible way. Um, our own markets, however, look to me like we're going to bounce. And this SPY, we're at the 188. That can bounce into the 192 up to like 194 pretty quickly. Now, the NDX 100. The NDX 100 is a mess. I mean, big time. That wants to bounce too, though. Guess what? <laughs> this one's going to be harder to bounce, but this wants to bounce. NDX 100, three Qs, closes at 99.47. Now, that closed below the low of yesterday. So that said, hey, you know, you have game on to 98.93. What, what, it, what it did do is that that's where it rejected today. So it rejected the low of August 26th, 98.93. It had 47 million shares versus 104 million. This is what the difference is, though. The difference is that inside the NDX 100, let's go to the biotechs first. The biotechs just may save the NDX 100 and let it bounce. And this is what it is. The biotechs yesterday, well, first off, you know, in 10 trading days, the biotechs went from 366 down to 285. Yesterday, we hit a low, and we did that with 11.5 million shares. You're coming into the low that was established on the 24th, which is 284.16. What the, what the biotechs are doing today, it, they were up $10 at one point, end up being down $1. They're actually, they were pushing into the lows of yesterday with lighter volume, 11.8 million. I suspect you're gonna see those bounce also, but the biotechs absolutely wanna blow out this bottom. Uh, the bounce in the biotechs, however, that, that thing can bounce up to 320 in about a heartbeat. Small caps, now this is where this gets really wild. 
because there's always someone leading, folks, and the small caps basically have given away the store. And the store they've given away is that the small caps got under the low that was established on the 24th. Right now, we're at 107.56. 108.26 is the number. So that, I suspect, yeah, you'll get back inside them probably tomorrow, inside that range. But that's setting up saying those babies want lower price. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract pulls back with lighter volume. We got into a price point today of... Excuse uh, we're trading at 11.27. We got to a low of 11.23.50. You've done volume out here of 98,000 contracts. That 98,000 is coming into 152,000 as well as 178,000. Uh, bottom line is that you have two separate nice swing points that have volume on them. Uh, the first and closest one is 11.56.40 from the 24th. Uh, the there we go. The second one is from the trading of August 24th. That is 1169.80. That's where this baby wants to run to. We'll see how we get up into that level, but I expect you're going to see that. Why? Well, guess what? Let's go over to the dollar index. The dollar index, folks, it's pretty amazing when you look at it. Uh, DXC. What we have with the dollar is that the dollar absolutely cannot catch a bid. Zero traction on the dollar. What the dollar index has done out here today, we're trading at a price point of 96.04, 28,000 contracts. Uh, intraday, the dollar was trying to get into the high um, from two days ago. That high was 96.88. Now, the thing that's crazy is that that high from two days ago is not even a swing, folks. This is the third time that it tried to get into a swing and a minor swing and it couldn't handle it. The swing point on the dollar is August 7th, folks, which is 98.74. It went down into 92. It tried to just get back up into a minor swing on the 3rd of September, couldn't handle it. Comes down again on volume to 94.67. Goes back up again and the absolute mind blow is that when Yellen come out, um, and said, no, rates are going up, you know, bottom line. And then the dollar still couldn't catch a bid and couldn't take out its high. It couldn't take out a minor swing high. Dollar wants lower price. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNA. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow finished up 47. NASDAQ down 26. S&P's uh, up 250. We're going to be right back.